Well, hello and good evening to all of you. Unfortunately, it appears that the weather hasn't quite read the script here. There has been a dreadful downpour from well before the moment the turnstiles opened, and there is considerable concern on the faces of the officials. We think it's going to be OK. Clearly, the pitch will be slippery. It'll be a challenge for those who have to officiate, never mind those who have to play. They know they are not good for an easy game, but the crowd is all in, and the match, I'm delighted to be able to say, will go ahead. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Marco Verratti. He's got great vision and passing ability and seems to be able to dictate the play in midfield. He also tends to develop a really good understanding with the forwards and just kind of senses the runs that they'll make. And I'm intrigued to see how he performs today. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. So off we go then. Hoists it forward. Thiago Silva. Bernat, it's Di Maria. Tries to get it forward quickly. Could move up a gear here. Gets wrestled off the ball, and it's played forward. Now it's Di Maria. Chupa Morting. It's Chupa Morting! The little feint he came up with to produce the effort, very, very tidy. Bernat. Sarabia. Forward it goes. So it looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Has a shot! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team. Pablo Sarabia! And they've been caught out here. So who's he picking out? Marco Verratti. Di Maria. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Turns and goes back. It's Verratti! He is off the hook. Much personal relief. Well, the work rate to win the ball back was fantastic and it set up the opportunity. That's great effort. Oh, 
Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. And the whistle goes for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks and have 12, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Some first half thoughts. Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then there's only going to be one winner here, and uh, I don't think it's going to take too much improvement for it to happen. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. We're already back on the way here. Paris Saint-Germain clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Berati drives it forward, and it's Chupa Motting. Chupa Motting brings the ball forward, shapes to shoot! Easy, almost too easy. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was drastic in the face. Rouge have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves into the lead. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Marco Verratti. Bernat tries to switch the play. And here's Pablo Sarabia. Really good feet. Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Marquinhos. Rouge are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Forward it goes. Over to the left. Paris Saint-Germain are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Well positioned to make that interception. It's a good foot in there. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Tries a shot! Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Keeper sends it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Almost there, and the players can feel it. 
too much on it and out of play. Information that there will be four minutes stoppage time. Thiago Silva. And that will be the final act. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but...